back to another video. So today we're going to talk about my August EBR and I am so excited to share this with you. So let's get into it. First, the thing I'm going to talk about is the Tone Topple. It is happening from August the 8th to August the 22nd. Um, it's all about reading big books, any book over 500 pages. If you want to know more, I will link Little Back Book Owls announcement video down below there are instagram challenges there are reading challenges and we're going to go over my reading challenges because the these are going to be my priority books for the month um and then i have a couple i'm going to add on at the end in case i finish those so it is august the first still and i'm currently still in the middle of the hazelwood i have 40 pages as soon as i'm done filming and taking photos i'm going to finish it so it shouldn't be a problem um, I just wanted to mention that here because I am reading it kind of in between. So the next, so the first prompt of the Tone Topple is read a book that has been on your TBR the longest and read a tome on audiobook. And for that, I'm going to be reading The Game of Thrones by George R. George R. R. Martin. Um, guys, this has been on my TBR forever. Ever since I watched the first season of the show, um, and I happen to have this on audiobook from my library right now, hoping to keep it while the tone topple happens and audibly listen to the entire thing. But um, yeah, so that's the prompt for that one. And this book, this book is a chunker. It is, let's look, hold on one second, because he talks about the houses for a while and then like, he has like appendix of all the houses and stuff. So it's 807 pages. There's that one. The next one is read a recently acquired tome and I actually have three that will fit for that challenge and the first one is Crescent City by Sarah J Mass. I want to get to this and it has, I know it had over 600 pages in it. Let's look. Oh, dear lord, baby Jesus. Um, not in my, on my book journal page. It has 799 pages in it. Um, I recently bought this because I've heard everybody raving about it and I love me some Sarah J Mass, so I figured I'd pick that up. Um, the next one that can be considered on that list is European Travel for the Monstrous Woman. I am 304 pages through this already and I just want to get it done. And when I learned that the Tom Topple was coming up, I was like, well, let me go ahead and put this one in there because I can finish it and I, I'm excited about it. Um, this one is the second one to the uh, Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter. Um, that one's about Mary Jekyll. Her, mama di her mother dies and she um, finds out her mom has been paying for a hide to stay somewhere. And she She's like, wait, there's a Jekyll or a Mr. Hyde who is wanted for killing a man. There's a reward. She's poor now that her mother has died because her mother had a dowry from her father, but it's only as long as she lived. So it didn't pass on to Mary. So she's hoping to go get this reward money for turning Hyde in. And it's not exactly what she thought it was going to be when she gets there. Um, this series is unique in the fact of they're the characters butt in during it so like let me try i'm trying to find a good example i don't want to spoil this is a good page okay so they like have little inserts here where they're like talking to one another and talking about one another and oh it's so good it's like watching it's like watching a tv show where the actors are giving commentary while it's happening um some people don't like it. Some people are like, it's awful. But for me, I, I have two, I have four sisters. I have three sisters, excuse me, three. Um, there's four of us, but there's, I have three. Um, and we're always arguing, bickering. That's not how that happened. That's what this is like. And I absolutely love it. And the last one I have that could go for this prompt, it also can go for the prompt of um, read a tome with the most pages, because this is the tome with the most pages on my TBR. And that is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This, ba this baby is huge and I'm excited. Um, it has, let's look, hold on, one second. 
800 and something pages. Um, come on. I don't think it, you know, I don't think it is the one with Malos. I think the second one to House of Wind. No, the Name of the Wind is the biggest, but we're going to count this one because my good reset it was this one. And this is eight, um, 880 pages. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, I think it's going to fly by considering some of the pages have like, there are just pictures like um fan art and stuff in this one this one's also signed um how much is that picture away there's one of hold on, there's one of two characters i know it's in here i just gotta find it it's like the second one no maybe it's not in here maybe i'm wrong uh there it is okay See, it has like illustrations of what's going on in it. My wife likes to call it a picture book. <laughs> um, so this one has the most pages and I'm excited to get to it during the Tome Topple. And then the last one I'm hoping to get to and it fulfills the prompts of a tome that is a standalone and a tome that is that I usually don't read. And that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Um, this is a contemporary, contemporary tome. Um, I have never read anything by Morgan Matson. I know that this one actually has some text in it. It is, I was trying to see, 500 and something pages. Come on. 507 pages. Um, and so I'm hoping, I'm excited to get to this one. I know it's about a dog walker. That's all I really know. Um, I'm excited to read it. I picked it up because I had seen the cover everywhere. And plus, how cute is that little pug? And the inside cover has that photo, which I just absolutely love. So yeah, I'm hoping to get to this as well. Um, and again, it's a contemporary. I don't read much contemporary. And I'm excited to get into it. Now, there is a couple other books I've added to my TBR in case by some miracle I am able to finish all of these in two weeks. I have added a couple more to my TBR to fill up the month. Um, these aren't all I might pick up because I have been mood reading so much lately that um, I may pick up something else. I don't know. If I go to the library, I might pick up books there. So, um... Right now, the ones I'm planning on picking up is And I Darken by Christian, Christ, Christian, Kristen White. Um, this one I know nothing about. I don't really want to know anything about it. The only thing I know about it is that supposedly our main character is a Kate Noble girl. Like Freya and Jude and someone else. I saw a TikTok where the main character of this book is compared to like the main character of a couple of my other favorite books. And I was like, oh, this should go on my TBR because I need to read this. If the main character is like anything like those, I'm going to love it, hopefully. So I have this one on my TBR. I will leave my Goodreads TBR pile for August linked in the description because I'm going to start doing that on Goodreads. I'm going to make a shelf august 2020 tbr that way i can see what i did read what i did and all that good stuff and y'all can go read the descriptions for all these because i'm awful at this that way um if you want to read one with me or you're interested in one of the ones i'm showing you can read the description or read the um synopsis for it and it saves me a little bit of time because i don't have to do link every book and the last one that i'm adding to my tbr is sadie by courtney summers I know this is told in podcasts. Some of it's podcasts, some of it's um, the sister. I know that her sister goes missing and there's a podcast trying to figure it out as long, along with Sadie who's trying to figure it out, I think. Um, and I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. I've heard so many people talk about this and rave. I thought it was longer than it is. It's a tiny book compared to everything else I'm reading this month. Uh, it's only 310 pages, so I'm hoping to knock it out real quick and get that done. Um, I will say, honor, 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 honorable, the ones I want to mention in case I, by some stretch of amazingness, finish all of these 
One that I do want to pick up for sure would be the um, Tell Us All It's Time by Liz Barswell. Barswell. I have this on my um, five star predictions. And so I want to get this red because I think it would be super, super good. Um, and I'm super interested in the Beauty and Beast retelling. Obviously, I've read. Uh, oh my gosh. A Court of Thorn Roses. The other one I would like to pick up is Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. Now, this one is my um, 20. 21 for 2021 pick for June and July and I just haven't had a chance to pick this up. This one and Game of Thrones are my two for June or for June and then I didn't pick any in July because I thought I would get these done and I didn't get it done. Um, mood reading. That's what this is. So if by any stretch I get all of these done or I'm in the mood I do want to pick this up. I may actually pick this up and read it for the next because today it's August the 1st. So for the next like seven days, I have to pick something up and read it until Tome Tomble comes around. So I may pick up this and like knock some of it out because it's a tiny book too. It's 346 pages, but they're like dense pages, dude. And I just love this old beat up copy. I love old beat up copies. It's my favorite copies of books because they look loved and well bred and like somebody read this over and over and over and I just absolutely love it so yeah I do want to get to that one as well um that is my TBR for August hopefully this works out for me but we will see um if you like these videos you like seeing my face hang in there I'll like to see you in the next one and I hope you all have a great rest of your week night whenever you're watching this um like subscribe stay around if you want um, I'd be happy to have you and I'd be happy to discuss with you. So, bye guys.